Hello! So, Overlord Collab is here, finally! Uh, and today I am going to test um, this guy out. So, uh, this is the build I ended up with. It's pretty bulky, and it also has a, a decent effectiveness. And it's Abyssal Crown. So hopefully, this is gonna... Hopefully he's not gonna get 15% on his S3. Uh, because I, I have a feeling that what, that's what is going to happen. Like I'm getting I'm gonna get 15% all the time and then I'm just uh, and then I'm just dead. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, hope this is not gonna happen. Uh, but like obviously into this team with Elvira and uh, Ruana I can bring literally anyone. Uh, Lionheart Sarmi I would have just destroyed this team in like 10 times faster. Uh, but uh, who knows. Uh, maybe Ainz will prove that he's worth uh, using him. Uh, I really doubt that though. And now, uh, for the first team, I'm bringing Politis because I want to play with her. This is my build on Cursed Compass. Uh, then Strays uh, with Speed Imprint, it's almost 270 speed, so I believe it should be faster than the shoe. Even if not, uh, I'm gonna get Rage Buff with additional 20% speed, so I will be able to lap her if I'm not going to push her back. And also she's going to have speed debuff. And then watch her here on... Um... Uh, wait, this a Titan have high HP, right? So, uh... Politis, Politis using her S3, then... Uh... Stray skill in this A Tithing, Karina Prox, uh, those two have stealth because uh, Watcher is on Guiding Light. She can only go into Strays. And then uh, Watcher kills this Karina, and then there's only Shu. I don't think uh, Shu's going to solo me here, so yeah, should be fine. Uh, because Politis cuts uh, her focus by half, so she cannot really use her S3 that much. Uh, yeah, let's go in. I think this is gonna be alright. I hope it's gonna be alright. Okay, this shoe's actually faster than I thought, but it doesn't Life matter. Is full of suffering. Let this be your paradise. Alright. Fall to despair. Now, rest for all. Brace yourself. I guess I should have put um Paulus on me. Any last words? Uh, what it called, Sasha on Sasha, but I, I, I didn't. Yeah, I I didn't do that. I won't so. miss. Okay, Karina is dead. <laughs> I didn't prop guiding light, so uh, Watcher is going to um, take this hit. That's a, a little bit unfortunate. And I also have defense break now, so I cannot proc uh, Benny Maristachi. Uh, I think I'm actually going to S1 in that case. I think this is a little better thing to do. Ow. Okay, uh, hopefully I'm not going to die from a single S1 there. Uh, fuck. Okay. Okay, okay, we're good. GG's. Uh, I almost lost this actually, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, uh, let's S3 into this Arrowell, I think. Because otherwise she's gonna get CF push and might be able to stun Ainz. I need to use my S3. And I think Alense is the scariest unit here. So I'm going to uh, try to go for her. Okay, the moment of truth. Will I get 15%? No, I didn't. Don't ever ignore nice. The power of someone. 
with something to protect. Okay, uh, I don't really want to S3, but I guess I have to. Generous Rekos. Please protect us. Okay, 24k HP Alexia. Uh, unfortunately, I proc passive uh, when Ainz was stunned. No, it's Eldris. Okay, good to know. Now I just need to wait, I guess. It's already it's already eight turns now. Leave me alone. Okay. No provoke, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, that that feels kind of nice. Not gonna lie. Oh, nice stun. Um, so this actually gives me the time Solvira doesn't die. This is actually huge. Wow. Oh, why did I provoke? Oh, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I actually don't know why I did that. So th since this is um, Elbris Euphine, I can go into her and I know she's not going to revive. And I didn't got 15% again, which is... Uh, oh, nice. Nice. Okay, please don't proc Elbris now. Nice. Now we're gonna reapply Immortality. Another stun. Oh no, and... <laughs> Arlo is gonna stun me now. Well, it doesn't matter. So, I guess Ainz kind of did what he had to, but at the same time, um, I could, I could win this like twenty times faster. <laughs> uh, but whatever. So Ayuk is dead. Now there's only one unit left. And now I might actually get resisted because uh, it seems like this uh, arrow will have resistance, but no. Never mind. So let's just solve in this. Alright. I'm not even sure if she's going to die from the death sentence or not. Okay. No stun. Leave me alone. What a pity. And just a little bit longer. This is just the beginning. Ten, eleven, and this is over. Nice. Okay, that that feels kind of nice, honestly. I can't say that uh, it was too fast, but it worked. So I guess. He's not as bad. I, I mean, yeah, he's not as bad as people say, but I can understand why they're getting frustrated from 15% uh, mechanic existing in his kit. Uh, he's like a full RNG unit because of that. But I like him, yeah. Okay, now I cannot actually bring Ainz here because uh, this team have Spirit Iceline and also it's a uh, very fast aggressive comp uh, so I'm just not gonna be able to survive all this pressure and also bringing him into light units is, uh, is a very bad idea 
so yeah I cannot bring him here and I can't bring him here either because um, there's candy and candy is even more dangerous than spirit Iceline, I believe so uh, you cannot stun her she's just going to keep countering you and until you die so uh, yeah I don't think it's a good idea to use her so instead I am bringing uh, Benny Marocomp in the first team uh, so Benny is going to destroy pretty much everything here. Uh, Rimuru is going to give him attack buff from Ron. This is my new Rimuru build on Victoria's flag. It's pretty OP actually. Uh, and then Abigail to make sure I'm not going to die from uh, this Ron RNL. I'm actually not sure if this is RNL. Actually, let me check real quick. Uh, there's actually no one, nobody said anything actually about the stronghold, so I'm assuming there's, there are no weird builds, like a slow run or something, right? I hope so. Uh, and the second team, uh, I, I, I don't really know what to bring here, so, um, Elvira here to prevent fighting spirit, and also she cannot get reset it by Nakwal, and then I'm still bringing Laia, <laughs> uh, because my damage dealer Kawazu is gonna get, uh, is gonna get reset it, uh, so, um, what, what's going to happen is, um, Nakwal is going to S3, then Laia will cleanse everything and um, and reset me reset everyone back that's how her s2 works and then kawazu should be able to one shot this candy and after candy is dead i cannot really die here a yuffie is not really a threat without her fighting spirit Right? I hope so. I hope I hope this is gonna be fine. So I'm just gonna wait until um Kawazo S3 is gonna get back then and uh yeah let, then we'll just see what's going to happen. I, I I honestly I I don't even know what else can I bring here. This is uh I, I don't like this I don't I don't want to fight this team. It's uh I, I just don't know how, so I'm bringing this and hoping that this is going to work. Let's go. Okay. That's this team seems normal. Are you ready? Don't forget this feeling. Of course, my rumor is gonna get hit. Why wouldn't he? But it should be fine still. So I'm going to S3 into Shu. So I didn't actually kill the Shu. And. Um, but the thing is, Shu is going to S3 into Benimaru because he has the lowest HP. So I'm not really worried about her because uh, my um, I, I haven't proc immortality yet. So I'm just going to S1 into Celine. I believe this should be more than enough damage to finish her off. Yep. Good. I have no more business. Now immortality got proc, but that's fine. Uh, of course, I'm gonna get 15 percent. But uh, she's still going to S3. To S1 into Benny Maharo because she's just too fast now, and now she's dead. <sighs> okay, okay, that was safe enough, I guess. It's mature sunglasses on um, on a Yuffie, so this means I'm not, I shouldn't be afraid of her at all. 
Because she's not gonna, she's not gonna come back with Holy Sack eventually, right? So as soon as she's she's gonna go down, uh, the battle is over. For now, I'm going to S3 into her with the beer, so she's not. She, uh, unfortunately, she still got um. I, I didn't land unhealable on her, so... Eh, whatever. Let's just uh, kill this enemy off. Right? Yeah, there's no way she survived that. 24k. Okay. Uh, and I can actually... Attack this. Provoke, nice. So, since this is Mature Sunglasses, I can just go into uh, into the monk, into Nakwal, and uh, now she proc that guy. Okay, uh, for some point to get countered. Oh, nice! I feel like I'm losing, honestly. Uh, so my Laya is dead, and my Kawaz is gonna get reset it. Try not to feel so indignant. You're not dead yet. Okay. Okay, never mind. We're good. Leave me alone. We should be fine now. So you wanna die. So Monk is provoked, she can only go into Elvira, who's going to die unfortunately, but whatever. Okay. Uh, so I don't have Elvira for the third battle, but that should be fine. Okay. At least I, I haven't lost, that was very close to losing though. But we still managed to win. Okay, and for the last attack, I am going to bring Ainz again, and I'm I feel like I'm going to lose this one honestly. Uh, so my plan here is um, uh, this Celilius is gonna push me back, and uh, she's only going to target Ainz. But I sh it, that shouldn't really matter uh, as soon as I'm using his, I'm going to use his S3 into this AU theme. So, uh, Sililius goes doing her things, and then Laia is going to cleanse everything. And Ainz will be able to land, uh, hopefully going to land um, his uh, death sentence on this AU theme. And uh, then we stop touching her, and then uh, this should be over as soon as this Euphie dies. Unless this is Holy Sack. <laughs> if this is Holy Sack, well, then I'm screwed. Uh, yeah, Th that's pretty much <laughs> the, my, the, my whole plan. If um, if this Euphie is on Holy Sack, then I'm, I feel like I'm going to die eventually. Uh, so Rowana here to hopefully prevent me from dying. But I don't think this is going to help me really. <laughs> and for the first team, I'm actually using Albedo too. So this is my build on Aureus because I, I feel like this is just the best uh, possible build for her. Uh, yeah, she just adds uh, so much mitigation in that case. Aureus, and I also put her on the counter with some damage. Uh, hopefully, this is gonna be fine. So, Shu here is probably just going to destroy this whole team. Uh, I'm actually not really sure about using two grass units here because, uh, in that case, this water shoe is only going to target the dark shoe. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, let's go. Okay, Tiger Hell Ancient Broken. Okay. I see. Sweet jam. 
It's 30k HP Laya. Holy. Okay, so I need to um, injure down this Laya as soon as possible. Oh. Oh. Okay, I stripped all anti crit buffs. That's, that was good. Okay, uh, let's go into Laya. Nice. And now Albedo's taking all the hits, and she's actually going to counter. Oh wow, that was that was a lot of damage. Okay, uh, let's uh, use a straight into this shoe because she is. But yeah, it's gonna make her unbuffable and death prey. Uh, right? Yeah, I think that this is the best plan. Okay. Nice counter. Nice. That was a, a big damage, actually. Uh, so, uh, let's keep injuring down this fly. I feel like I feel like this is the best choice I can make. And now we use an S3 because uh, Albedo is kind of low on HP now. Ah, that was a decent amount of damage on me. Okay, now hopefully this Lai is going to die. Okay, and now we just finished off this shoe. Radiant light. Uh, healing Albedo. And this is over. Yep, yeah. nice. So Albedo is not that bad. Like, I mean, she's bad, but not that bad. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Obviously, I'm gonna get uh, all debuffs. I have no ER. But now, uh, okay, I don't really want to S3 yet. But if this semi have effectiveness, then I might not be able to use S3 later. So let's go for it now. Free you from despair. Now. If I'm gonna get 15%, I'm gonna be sad. Nice. Okay, now I just gotta pray. <laughs> I just gotta pray that this is not a holy sack. Okay, obviously I'm getting all debuffs. But I actually proc the, the counter buff. I don't feel like this is really helping me this here. Uh, okay, I stun the I stun this Ayufi, which is huge actually. It mean it means she's not going to proc um, uh, dual attacks with uh, Sililius. Right here, here's my chance. But wait, it, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead because she already have enough fighting spirit. It's gonna be seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's not enough. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm so dead. <laughs> well, GG's, I guess. So, yeah, Ainz is dead. <laughs> okay, well... Okay, so it's going to be 10, 11... Yeah, he's dead no matter what, isn't he? 
Well, whatever. Yeah, just barely. Just barely didn't live for long enough. Fuck it. <sighs> Maybe I could still win with Laia, but I really doubt because she didn't proc. Uh... She didn't proc Sweet Miracle. Whatever. Whatever. Heinz <laughs> is trash. <laughs> yep, that's. <sighs> I mean. That Celilia is just. Of course, she was going to dual attack with a Yuffie all the time. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.